So I have a little game here, but I want it to look a little bit more retro. So the first thing you want to do here is just head into your project and project settings. You probably already have this enabled, but come to textures and make sure that you have the nearest option enabled. Then come up to the window options and then you can turn on advanced settings and that will let us set a window width and height override. So now what we can do is change the default viewport width and height. I'm going to set this to 320 by 180 and then the window width override that will be 1920 by 1080. Now if I run this we will see the camera is way too far zoomed in because we have just reduced the viewport size. So to fix this, we come to our camera and just reset the zoom to one. Now with this done, you will notice some weird artifacts appear on your screen. For example, you can see right now the player's feet disappear and then reappear randomly. So to fix that, we need to come into our project settings and search for snap. This is under um, 2D and we have snap 2D transforms to pixel and snap 2D vertices to pixel. If we turn both of these on, you can see everything now works. The camera is very jittery though when it follows the player. So to fix that for now, I'm just going to disable uh, smoothing. And there we go. We now have a retro pixel art style in Godot 4. And I think that looks a lot nicer than what we had before. Now, one thing you might be wondering is what about UI? Right now, if we add a UI element to the game, you'll see it's pretty blurry and it doesn't look nice. Now the first thing you can do is use a smaller font. There's a bunch on itch.io, but if you want to use high resolution UI elements, you can do so using sub viewports. And I will make a tutorial on how to do that here pretty soon. So with that all said and done, I hope you guys enjoy this short little tutorial. As always, if you have any feedback, be sure to drop them down in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one.